Hello, it's Josh Cameron here, and welcome back to another video on MotoGP17. And today, we are not doing both career modes today. We're going to be having a break on both careers. So, like I said, next week, uh, we'll be uh, we'll be the both career modes, so make sure you stick for those. So, uh, yep, today, we're going to be doing a Grand Prix mode with another Moto3 rider. Uh, and the other video we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading back to Jack's MotoGP Challenge, which we haven't done uh, for quite a few weeks. So, make sure you stick for that on the next uh, part of the River Rookies on episode number three. But, yep. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, today uh, uh, we're going to be doing another Grand Prix mode with another Moto3 rider. So yeah, let's go and get into it then. Uh, so let's go and pick my, my Moto3 rider. And like I said, after that I've got to come pick um, a track. So right then, let's go for another Moto3 rider. So last time we went for, was it Bastinini we went for last time? It was, wasn't it? So, um, okay, so this time I'm going to go for... Who's my other favourite rider? Uh, I want to pick a nice, nice one. Uh, I'm going to go for... I've already had an, uh, Antonelli already. Uh, let's go for... Well, my, my concerns, I'm, I'm tempted to go to, uh, for Jorge Martin, but... Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's go for Jorge Martin, because since I do love him, so he's got 34 races, he's 19 years of age, he's got 57% braking, 56% management, 57% cornering, and 58% body position. Because I know at some point I will be doing a Legend of MotoGP on all these riders and Moto2 riders, but I've just not been uh, doing that yet. So, yep, let's go uh, for Jorge Martin, just because I do, I do, I do like the guy since he's been racing a lot on MotoGP. And uh, let's go for, wait, where's he from, by the way? I can't, I, I can't remember where, where he's from, by the way. Is he, oh, he's from Spain. Okay. He's from Spain. So I'm not going to really go for a Spain track. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I, 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 I don't, I, I don't want to go for a Spain track. So I think I'm going to go for something else. So let's go for... What track's he usually good around? Uh, I, I don't know what track he's really good on. Um, I've seen him quite good on... On recent tracks, I think he's really good on, on Qatar. He's um, I know that in the first race he was very good on that. So, yeah, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for, uh, for Qatar for him. I think he's quite good around that one. Um, uh, yep, it's gonna be three laps. Uh, this is pretty box standard. No nope, clear. Yep. Uh, yep, that's that's pretty fine. Because because uh, because uh, basically we're only doing only race because because uh, it's only a Grand Prix. So. We don't need to do qualifying. And yeah, uh, we are pretty much ready for our Grand Prix with Jorge Martins. So yep, yeah, let's go and get into it. Let's go see how it goes. So yep, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be doing it at Qatar. Because I know that uh, I have seen uh, uh, Jorge Martin go around Qatar. So uh, yep, yeah, we're going to be doing the, uh, the Qatar race. So yeah, there'll be two uh, really short GP videos today. Well, this week. And then like I said, next week I'll be doing uh, both career modes. So make sure you stick, uh, stick for those. I should say both uh, series, as I should say. And like I said, uh, this week uh, AI career will be starting, by the way. Yeah, this Thursday AI, AI career will be starting. So make sure you stick for that. Because uh, I know the last week I didn't start it. So yeah, this week I will be starting the uh, the season three of AI career. And it will, it, will, it will be definitely this week as well. Just waiting for the loading screen. There we go. Right, then let's go and get into it then. Let's go see how we get on. And there he is. That's who we're being for uh, this episode. Right then, let's go and go to our brakes and tyres. I'm going to go for um, hard rear. Yeah, I'm going to go for a soft front and a hard rear. Don't even need to change any of this. I'm going to put the gear down to the same as that. Make it a bit easier. Okay, right. We're ready. Let's go see how it goes then. I'm Jorge Martin at Qatar. Let's get underway. Cause, uh, yeah, because I'm only doing three laps. Because um, just make it a bit easier because we don't need to do long races with them. I think I think when we do Moto 2s, I might end up putting putting it up. But I might think about that. Because it is only a random video, so it doesn't really matter too much. Here we go. Right, we're starting it now. Back of the grid. And, I, I, and I'm actually going to give them a five second head start as well, because I know that um, Jorge Martin's quite good on that bike. So I'm going to give them a five second head start, just to make it, just to make myself pretty cool. 
So that's what I'm going to do. As soon as he's, uh, he's on one of the um, the best bikes. Oh, God. As soon as he's on one of the, uh, the best bikes. Okay, let's go and slow down a bit. Uh, uh, no, that'll be fine. Okay, right. Let's go then, shall we? And hopefully we are going to get a decent win on them. There was a, there was a massive lag on the screen there. So yeah, let's go and let's go see how it goes. See if we can get a good race with them. Let's see what I can do. It's been a good start. Catching them up already. Yeah, it did give them a five second head start, but we are on the on the back of them already though. Let's repeal the pack that's up first. Let's see if we can get a move on him. Here we go. Oh, just hit the back of him instead. Don't want that. Don't want to do that. Gonna get a decent advantage on him in one of these corners. It'll be this one. Nope, not there. Okay, so we're gonna get him. Probably through this one. We have all, we've got a few riders. Okay, so we're up to 28th. Yeah, so 25th then. Oh, we're going to get Bezeki as well. Oh, no. Nope. Okay, we've messed that up a bit there. I'll try and get Bezeki around the outside here. Oh, he's in the way. We've got him. Okay. He's now up to 27th. We're probably going to get a few more riders into this corner. We'll try and get a Renas as well. Probably going to get a few more riders. Yep, yep, we got him. So now we're up to 26th place. Going to make another place up, 25th. Rhea Herrera as well. And Ramirez. Yep, we've got the move on Ramirez as well. So we're now up to 23rd. So we're almost nearly in the points. We're eight places away from the points. As we go a little bit wide into that final corner. Now this is where Slipstream will be coming because he's on one of the uh, the quickest bikes. So this is why Slipstream will be coming. Here we go, down the main straight, and it looks like that I'm actually not getting any Slipstream. Which is quite surprising. Now I did get Slipstream. We are going to get a few more riders though. They're a little bit later on the brakes than me though, which is kind of a problem. I've only got one in that straight, that's not good. Now it's a 20, oh, oh god, sorry com sorry com file. <laughs> now we're in 19th. Got Della Porter as well. There we go. Right, we're now at 18th. Okay, so we're just three places away from the points now. There we go. Oh, oh god. Binder was in the way. I'm probably going to get a move on him into here. We are. Okay, now we're in 15th, so we've got one point. Now well, we're going to have a chance to win. Because we are struggling a little bit since we did start from the back of the grid, but I'm not sure how many places we're going to we're going to make up. Oh, we've made two more places. Now we're thirteenth. Not sure if there's going to be any more. Come on, Martin. Show us what you've got. Since he's pretty quick. There we go. Just got his teammate. So now we're in tenth place. Sorry about the burp there. Oh, bit wide. That's fine. Oh, we've got the run on Bastinini here. Oh, I think he slowed down a bit there. Slowed down a bit. We've got him. I think we have. Yes, we have. Okay, so we're now into ninth. So are we going to get these two? It looks like the leader's actually got a decent lead. So, oh, it's McPhee. It's McPhee that's in the lead. Okay, so McPhee's in the lead at the moment. He's battling with uh, Joe and Mia. So them two are the ones that we've got to catch. And we are getting Slipstream on these two. So now we're up to seventh. Because we've only got one lap to go. And uh, at the moment, though, me, uh, Bulliger's not leaving me alone. And now he has. Okay. So we're now 
Back to seventh now. Not sure if we are going to get Antonelli though. Prob probably. Oh, we have. We've got him. We're going to get third at this point. Probably going to get third in one of these corners. Don't know which corner it's going to be though, but we are going to get third in one of them. Oh, let's go a little bit wide again. Oh, oh god, gone wide. Yep, we've got Mingo. Okay, so we're now fifth. Let's get Venati and can it? Oh, no, nope, gone wide. Okay, I might be able to get them through here. Oh, as I go really, really wide. Might be able to get can it though. Let's get that third place. There we go, there we go. Right, we've got can it. So now we're into third. Okay, so are we going to catch the two leaders? Because they're off quite far. As I just cock up the corner. I'm actually not sure if we are going to catch these two. Because they, uh, they are quite far ahead. I'm actually not sure if we are going to catch them. We've got a bit of a gap to third now. But I'm not sure if we're going to catch them or not. It's going to be quite close if we do. Guarantee I don't think we are, I don't think. Ooh, I don't think we're going to catch them. We are getting close though, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It's going to be quite surprising if McPhee ends, uh, ends up winning this. It's going to be quite surprising if McPhee wins it. We've got one more corner to go. And uh, I think it's probably going to be a third. I don't think I'm going to bother challenging it. We are pretty close, but I think I'm just going to stay third. So we are then, so my Grand Prix with Jorge Martin, and he finished in third from giving the AIs a five second head start. So there we go, so I did catch him in the end though. So who actually won that, was it McPhee, or was it Joanne Mia? Hopefully it was McPhee. Uh, oh no, it wasn't McPhee. No, McPhee was only 33 seconds behind, so it was pretty close, but uh, Mia managed to get him in the end. So yep, McPhee got second place, he was 33 seconds behind, I was 0.600 of a second behind them, but I couldn't be able to catch them. A little bit of a gap between Canet, uh, Remo Venati got 4th and 5th, Mingo got 6th place, uh, Antonelli got 7th, Urkel got 8th, Bulliger got 9th, Bastianini in 10th place, uh, Fabio got 11th, Lovely Loy 12th, Jules Dillillo 13th, Adam Norridan in 14th, and Gabby, Gabby Rodrigo in 15th that got all the, um, all the last points. So there we are then, so... So basically, Martin wasn't too bad. Uh, as soon as I did give him a five-second head start, it wasn't, it wasn't too too bad. But at least I, uh, I managed to get them, which uh, which which was pretty good. But at least it was still uh, a very, very good race. So I was uh, on the back of them anyway, but I just couldn't be able to catch them. But that's it. That's fine. Because like I said, uh, don't, don't we're going to be doing that one race uh, with them. We're not going to be doing uh, two. So um, yeah, it was, uh, that was a pretty good race, that one. Really enjoyed it. And I know that I should have catched uh, them, but uh, I was just far too close. I, I don't want to bother doing the challenge because otherwise I would have lost my slipstream so I just wanted to just stay in the, uh, the lucky third position. So that was good. But uh, yeah, so that was uh, Jorge Martin's race um, at Qatar. Well, that was really good, that. So, yep, next episode I will be picking my next rider. Because uh, what I'm going to be doing, by the way, is the riders that I've been already, I will be ticking them off. And then, like I said, I will be doing uh, more uh, for riders. Cause, okay, because, basically, when I've been all the Moto3 riders, I will be moving up to Moto2 and then up to MotoGP. So, it's, it's kind of a series uh, where I'm doing a Grand Prix on every single rider, which I haven't even done yet. Um... And I might come back to that at some point if I do if I do beat any more riders, but it's kind of a series where I'm being the riders and then I just show off what, what they're going to be. And I thought I'll do some in Legend of Mochi P as well, and I'll probably just show them off as well, but uh, that was that was really good. But, but, yeah, but yeah, guys, uh, that was my Grand Prix, Jorge Martin on Qatar. So yeah, if you guys uh, uh, enjoyed this random Mochi P video on, uh, uh, on a Grand Prix, uh, please give me a thumbs up, please come subscribe to the channel if you are new on here. So yeah, make sure you stick for the video afterwards, uh, we're going to be doing episode 3 of Jack's Mochi P Challenge on our next Red Bull Rookies Rider and a bike. So yeah, another Grand Prix video coming up very soon, and there'll be another Moto3 rider coming up. So thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!